back to the channel guys. I'm going to jump right back into the 89 CRX rescue build. In today's video, my goal is going to be to get the roof of this car sanded down with 600 grit. And we're actually going to move over to the sunroof as well and try to pull this thing apart and see what kind of condition it's in. And if it's in rough condition, I may end up having to run up into the attic and get the sunroof out of my 88 CRX and try to get it prepared for paint. So let's get started. To show you what I'm doing here, I'm actually pulling up the edge of the trim, putting the tape underneath it, and lifting it up. That way, whenever I sand and paint, it'll all be painted underneath the trim, and the, the windshield trim will actually fold back over on top of the painted surface instead of trying to mask off just the trim. So I'm lifting it up, that way I can prepare it underneath it. here on the roof that's got a pretty deep scratch in it and it's caused from the sunroof. There's a problem with the lifting mechanism on this side which I'm going to have to address later probably after we paint the car and before we put the sunroof panel back on. There's a, there's a plastic piece that's broken in here that I've got to order and I think I'm going to order it from Greg Parts. He 3D prints some replacement parts for this sunroof mechanism. So we'll dig into that a little bit further, but for now I'm gonna smooth this uh, scratch out and get it uh, sanded with 600. Okay, I've got it all sanded down with 320, the scratch is gone, so I'm gonna move it up to 600 grit and get the rest of it. sanded we've got the whole car finished with 600 grit so it's ready for paint there's probably going to be a few spots here and there that I'm gonna have to touch up with a scuff pad or take some 600 grit and, and finish off but for the most part this thing's ready um, I'm gonna have to unmask it I'm going to wash it all off and then I'm gonna remask it all but before I do that we're gonna jump over to that sunroof and pull it apart and take a look at it. And I've also got a few things to take care of as far as the mirrors and the door handles and things like that that I'm gonna to have to sand and scuff up and get it ready. So let's jump over to the sunroof. If you can hear that, that is some rust inside of this sunroof itself. You can see it falling out. So that's not a good sign as far as the condition of this sunroof is concerned. Uh, I know the one that I've got in the attic is in a little better shape. So we're gonna take all these uh, parts and pieces off of here and set them up on the workbench, pull the other sunroof panel down, 
and just compare and see which one we're gonna wanna use. There is some rust on these little nuts here, so I'm gonna hit them with some PB Blaster, let them sit for a second before we try to take them off, just to avoid breaking them. While the penetrating oil is setting up, breaking up that, some of that rust, I'm gonna move on to popping this uh, vinyl cover off here. It's kind of difficult. It may have come off in the past because the car has been repainted, so there may be some clips broken. I'm gonna do my best to avoid breaking these clips. They get brittle over time and they do break, so I'm just gonna try my best using some pry tools getting this thing up. They popped out uh, pretty easily, so that's a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna start by removing these 10 millimeter nuts on this bracket here. All right, I'm gonna move on to these eight millimeter nuts here on this rail. Another eight millimeter on this piece. All right, that one broke off. That's great. Okay, we've got the same thing on the other side. Let's hope this one doesn't break. Success. Okay, this is the sunroof seal holder. It goes all the way around. Uh, mostly it's held in with uh, Phillips head screws, but there are a couple of eight millimeter nuts, one on this side and one on the other side. We'll take these out first and then we'll grab our screwdriver and go all the way around this. Removing this seal holder. Gotta be careful with it not to break it. It's pretty thin sheet metal and there are some rusty spots, so we're just gonna slowly pry it up and get it off of this seal. Alright, the last thing to remove off of here is the seal itself. As you can see, it's actually in better shape than the one we took off the silver car. 
So what I'm gonna end up doing is cleaning up any rust that we see on this panel and getting it ready for paint. Well, as you can tell, this sunroof panel is not perfect. It's got its own flaws. It is in better shape than the silver one, so that's why I'm choosing to use this one. Ideally, we'd buy a brand new sunroof panel and be done with it, but they don't sell them anymore. And if you can find one, I mean, you're looking at, you know, 600 bucks for one of these, and it's really not worth it, especially when I've got one that's in pretty acceptable condition. I mean, I've got some rust forming from the inside out here, and there's a few spots that have some minor holes in it so what I'm gonna do is more or less repair it as best I can and go from there so I'm gonna end up cleaning this all off and taking some rust reformer it basically is supposed to turn rust into primer I mean it does an okay job it's not a, a perfect solution but that's what I'm gonna use here and I'm gonna spray all these spots where it used to have rust there's still some residue I'm gonna, I'm gonna prime that in and then I'm gonna go around and seam seal this seam edge here. And that'll help the water from getting into that seam because that's what the problem is. The water seeps into that seam and then it just sits because of that weather stripping and then it starts rusting from the inside out. So I'm gonna do what I can with this panel and then we're gonna prime it in once I'm all finished with the prep work. Okay, I'm gonna mix up some uh, epoxy panel bond to uh, seal that seam on the sunroof. I'm gonna hit these bare metal spots with some self-etching primer. Okay, I used the heat gun to heat up the epoxy to help it set up a little bit faster. But while it's setting up, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding the top of this panel with 320, that way we can prime it. Put some epoxy here on the top to fill in a little low spot on the panel. I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down with 320 and get it flattened out. Okay, scratch that. I'm gonna step it down to 220 because it, it's taken a while to, to cut through that. Now that I've got a few bare metal spots on here, I'm gonna throw a coat of etching primer on there to cover those up before we prime it.
find the marks on my face from the respirator. That's something I definitely have to have when I'm spraying that 2K primer. Today's video, we got quite a bit done, I think. Uh, the roof of this car was sanded with 600, and basically the entire car is completely done with 600 grit. So our next step is gonna be to clean this thing up, uh, remask it all, and really just get it ready for paint. And that's gonna require me cleaning the whole garage up, masking things off. It's gonna be a pretty big undertaking, but we did it on the black car, so I'll definitely be able to do it on here. The sunroof, I actually pulled down from the attic. We got all the rust taken off of it. I sealed the seams, and we got a, a nice thick coat of primer on here to sand down and to get it blocked flat uh, to get it ready for paint as well. So our next step here is gonna be blocking it down with 600 grit, and hopefully I won't need to spray another coat of primer on here, and it'll be ready to go after that. So one thing I'm going to do before I put it all back together is take a look at this hardware and if there's any problems with it I may end up having to sand this uh, these brackets down getting rid of this rust and put a new coat of paint on it as well so we'll catch you in the next episode and hopefully we'll keep making progress